Hi, and welcome to Doorways to Learning, where we open the doors to educational innovations all over the world. If you're looking for quick, easy ideas to add to your educational practice, this podcast isn't it. In this podcast, we delve into concepts. We reflect on learning so that we can begin at the beginning, thinking about the platform we want in our learning environment so that everything else falls into place effortlessly. Sound interesting? It is, and it's so satisfying. Rethinking our messages in our classroom is half the fun of entering and beginning to talk to our students. We really begin to know our own expectations, and then they just ooze from us organically so that our students begin prioritizing their expectations of their own lives with intention. And let's say, Grace, why not? Last week, we had a powerful educator on the show, Akachuchu Ananido. His mission in Nigeria is to change the national curriculum to one that's based on character development. In this way, he believes the schools, teachers, you, can turn the corruption of an entire country to one of honesty and peaceful existence. Can education get more inspiring? Please listen to his words on the short episode uploaded in January 2024. For those of you who have participated in workshops with me or have heard me at one of the educational events around the world, you know that the effective domain is my passion. If we establish a platform of emotional health in the classroom, everything else falls into place, just like I said before. One of the easiest ways to change a classroom dynamic is to begin by asking higher order thinking questions. You'll find a ton of examples of the difference between lower and higher order thinking questions at my website. So just go to scaffoldingmagic.com and then go to DOK, DOK questions, depth of knowledge questions. I have to tell you, it still amazes me every time I look at them, at the change in scope between lower and higher order thinking questions. So many possibilities open up and so much of our own experiences can be inserted so that the answers are always unique, they're always creative, and usually fascinating. Now, I encourage you to look at the examples I've uploaded, and please send me your own once you begin using the question continuum. You can download it very easily from the same place. An easy example of the difference is, for example, cyberbullies. A lower order thinking question, a direct question can be, what is a cyberbully? Well, it's pretty easy to answer. That's why it's lower order and a direct. There's usually one answer. There are profiles anywhere on the internet that can give you a short, sweet description of a cyber bully. What's really interesting is when we go straight up the question continuum and formulate the same question with a highest order thinking question, a what if question. What if you had the opportunity to confront a cyber bully who had caused great strife in your life? What would you say? Kind of fun, right? There's so much that a student would need to know and have research to present a complete, but also a compassionate and responsible answer to that. And these questions, these what if questions can be applied to our lives outside the classroom. There is so much negativity in the world, in people's perspectives on events, on the way news is off offered to us, in the way so many people choose to complain about situations they're not happy about, but actually do nothing more than complain about them. One thing we can do is to use these fantastic what if questions to change our own situations, and maybe even for the people around us. How? Well, an easy example is about a talk you need to have with your supervisor, or a principal, or a parent. You've had really bad experiences in the past, and you feel there's no reason that it's not going to be pretty stressful and unproductive this time too. You can go with that, and that's probably what's going to happen. Or, or you can ask yourself, or the universe, or whomever you talk to when you're talking to yourself, a what if question. So friends, what if my talk with this principal tomorrow turns out to be productive, and she recommends that my work is highlighted in the next newsletter? What if my supervisor has wonderful things to say about me and he's going to suggest I deserve a raise? What if the parents I'm meeting with tomorrow are calm and respectful and are open to hearing my suggestions about how their child could interact more effectively in the learning environment? 
if we give a positive spin on upcoming events, we begin thinking about what we'll say in this positive scenario, what we might wear, how we'd look the other person in the eye more directly, how we search for words ahead of time that will further the positive outcome we want, how we walk into the room with our heads high, pouring out positive energy towards the other person or people in the room. In other words, we'll be living the event in advance and making it much more likely to happen in a positive light. I recently suggested this to my sisters and my brother. We grew up in a household that was stressful, and there was also a lot of conflictive epigenic inheritance. So our emotional resting level is usually worrying about everything. And the thing is, we're all on the cusp of beginning new exciting projects. So I propose that we all ask a what if question, imagining the best case scenarios for these new ventures so that we can change this paradigm that we always have a constant worrying and replace it with a paradigm of constant hope and excitement. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Will you do this with us? What is a what if question you can ask today that will change your whole attitude towards an upcoming event, a conversation you're going to have with someone, a visit, a family gathering? Please let me know. Send me your questions and how the event changed accordingly. I cannot wait to hear from you. And in the meantime, I'll see you next week when we open yet another door to learning inside and outside of the classroom. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>